lordy 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 the new burning abyss support is now on freaking dead pro let's do this thing let's try this out hello <laughs> all right guys welcome back to some more daily duels so today is thursday it means we are using of course the strong the powerful the demonstrably good uh burning abyss hello <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, activate Farfa. I think that Farfa is really great. He he is a definite, definite. You run him, you play him, you love him, cause God, Farfa is good. We're gonna go ahead and summon that graph. Ah, I want to see how powerful, more powerful this deck is you come. Yeah, you know, you had that pure Burning Abyss deck that pretty much ran, uh, you know, you know the the you know, three of each copy of the current Burning Abyss, you know, all it pretty much did is just take them out and put in the, you know, the good ones, the new ones, you know, uh, so I'm trying out three Farfa, and I'm trying out, uh, uh, triple, uh, um, triple, 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 I don't get any background, though, you know, that, that makes my plays a lot more anticlimactic, uh, triple, you know what, I'm thinking about summoning you, yeah, I'm gonna summon you. Uh, triple Kagna as well. Um, I'm also running triple Gundam and Barbez. I'm not running the ritual because I think I can handle it. You know, through Kagna being able to send from the deck, my my spells, my, I mean, my trap cards being able to pitch from my hand, and also being able to go into a rubric who can also it says discard a Burning Abyss card. I'm hoping that I can handle uh, the situation. No, yeah. but I can go ahead and uh, handle you know, uh, dueling with these Burning Abyss. Alright, so this Banish is a monster, right? Well, I don't really want to use that, but I might have to just go ahead and use that effect. Yeah. Ah, so, so far, not really getting any of my Fire Lake set up. This deck is supposed to be, you know, able to get Fire Lake real damn quick, but I ain't getting it. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go ahead and just uh, summon Skarm and go ahead and Synchro Summon into Virgil, because why not? So you got a response for that? We'll go ahead and go into Virgil. So this deck, you know, I thought that with their new support there would be a lot less Virgil reliant, but it seems, but just as good Nemo and Bird, this just promote promotes more Virgil. You know, it's just like more Virgil. You know, and there is nothing wrong with uh with having more Virgil. You know, I don't think anybody's ever complained about you know how good Virgil is in the deck. Sure. Angraph? Sure, sure. Oh! I fucked that up. I said, I, I, oh, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. I read the wrong card. Well, I'll come back to the end phase, but I fucked that up. <laughs> I definitely fucked that up. Yeah. It's kind of funny that I had one job, fucked it all up. Fucked it all up. I read it. I read it. I thought it's, I thought I saw, uh, Graph and Sir. Not graph and farfa. So, oops. Need to practice with burning abyss more, Daniel. <laughs> you are not good. <laughs> no. So, really, the only thing that I missed that on is inflicting my opponent with uh, with twenty five. Which, you know, that could be the difference between winning and losing this duel. But you know, it's not too terrible. It's not like I'm gonna, you know, completely fall apart in this duel. Uh, so definitely lots of Virgil, lots of Virgils. Uh, Virgil can pitch, and you know, he's kind of like some bite in this deck. You know, especially with good Nebul and Burning Abyss, I can just go ahead and pitch it. Says Burning Abyss card, so that's awesome. Um, I'm also running Crane and Crane. Uh, I'm not sure if any other Burning Abyss player in the world is ever going to play Crane and Crane, but I kind of like it. You know, it's how they like to guide from the freaking uh, from the deck. You know, I like to I like Crane and Crane from the grave. I think that's a, a pretty good play. Yeah. God, my opponent is not doing shit. Like, hello? Like, uh, monsters, uh, do you run them? <laughs> you know? I don't even know what deck you're running. You literally only compulsed me, so I have no idea what deck you're running. Yeah. This whole entire duel has been just a straight up mystery right now. I say, you got deeper than, hey, use it. I mean, it's a trust choice, you know? Dante or, or, or Sir, you kind of want to deeper both of them. Mirror Force, that ain't gonna do shit. You know, uh, just a lot of shit that you ain't doing shit with. God, right now I wish I had freaking uh, Kagna. Like, where's Kagna? Kagna is definitely in must right now. Like, if I had Kagna, I can go ahead and send it to the graveyard. Go ahead and send Good and Evil. Good and Evil, go ahead and pitch me freaking 
uh, all that good shit. I should probably just go ahead and, and karma cut. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and karma cut. Get rid of that one fire. You got a response? Traps done. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I pitched, I pitched freaking, uh, Scarm to Graveyard, so I'm pretty chill unless you straight up OTK me, but. Like, so far, at least you revealed your plant. I mean, your deck. You know, something related to Lone Fire, you know. Maybe, you know, Sylvans, maybe. There's a lot of decks. Oh, I'm trying to think. There's not a lot of decks that play Lone Fire yet play back rows. So I'm kind of perplexed right now. I need to see a little bit more than just Lone Fire to Lone Fire. At least you can't go Lone Fire to Lone Fire to Lone Fire like you do in OCG, because then, you know, what they do, they limited that one card that no one plays just because it's kind of like a monster one. It's like if you have three of the same monster's name in the graveyard, you can mess up. It's like, that's an H, I think. Something. You know, you can revive one of that monster, so, you know, people would literally just go, all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, summon my monster, and later in the door, I can just play that card and just summon back, you know, another Lone Fire. <laughs> I learned a Lone Fire, do it again, so, you know. They're just like, oh, it's Lone Fire 3, but we gotta hit the card that, you know, tutors Lone Fire. Like, how about you just don't put Lone Fire to 3? Like, uh, but then, hey, I mean, that's OCG for you, right? So, I guess you're gonna kill my Dante? Yeah, the problem with you killing my Dante is I do have a Fire Lake in there, so. Don't I? I could've swore I had a Fire Lake in there. I could've swore I saw a milled a Fire Lake. I guess I didn't. What the fuck? I must be going insane using this deck, hello? God damn it. No, I guess I didn't. Alright, he's going for Leo. Ooh, Leo. Nice and scary. It's gonna take me a good minute to freaking deal with a Leo. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I need to figure out how I'm going to deal with the Leo. I need to get some of my trap cards and then just target him in main phase too. It's as simple as that, but you know, I hope I don't run into another traps done. Okay, so I didn't get a freaking... Uh, go ahead and give me Kagna. I'm like, oh, okay, so I didn't get a freaking uh, Fire Lake in the grave. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh. oh, there's a fire lake right there. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no. This deck is called Dante.deck for a reason. <laughs> God, this deck. Like, literally, I fucked up and I'm still up. Like, this deck's too good. It's literally too good. Like, re fucking ridiculous. There's a very good new one burning this, so. Cagna, sir. I get to summon one for my graveyard. Sure, I'll summon you back. I haven't got all my tour guides. Like, this deck. This deck, though. Like, Leo is a great choice. Leo is a great choice to use against me. The only problem with him using Leo against me, unless you got that trap done, I can always just do it main phase two. I know I got a ton of uh, trap cards I can use just you know, main phase two. I think that's the only problem is I really haven't been getting any trap cards. You know what? I might have to. Oh yeah, I have to say. I mean, you know what? I'm, he doesn't have another trust them, but I might have to just wreck his ass in freaking uh, in main phase one. Uh, all right. Yeah, summon Machina Fortress. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna activate Fire Lake. You two. You. 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 No, I can't target Leo, that's fine. 
I can I, I can deal with Leo later because I'm just gonna get another fucking fire lake. Like, if that's not fucking ridiculous, then yeah, you might as well scoop. Like, I'm literally wrecking your ass. Like, I can get another fire lake and another fire lake and another fire lake and another fire lake. It's, de it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get another duel and test this deck out. Bear back. Oh my god. This deck is just so strong. Alright, well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Skarm. Special Summon Skarm. Normal Summon Kagna. Xe into Dante, of course. Detach the Kagna. I know you're going to You're not thinking detach the Skarm. No, detach the Kagna. Send good and evil, and then I can just pitch. I can literally just go, good and evil in the burning abyss, pitch the Kagna in my hand, grab that, and then send another one, so. Yeah. So, plays are still just so fucking good. But this deck, I, I, you know, this deck, sometimes I'm just like, wow, this deck. <laughs> wow, and I'm out of rubric. Yeah, them is too. I say, are we having a burning abyss off? Not a lot of decks that are playing freaking uh, playing two guy right now. So, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're playing burning abyss. All right, yeah, I'll go ahead and play. Uh, Captain is in my hand again. Kind of fucked up my plays, but that's okay. Playing freaking hand destruction really fucked up my plays. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you have to be a Burning Abyss monster, so drawing this good and evil and Burning Abyss is not that great. I run a ton of monsters, though, so. Hand destruction? Really? <sighs> I don't nearly have enough freaking Burning Abyss monsters to go off yet. I just I just kill this tour guide bitch. So we're having a Burning Abyss mirror match. I want to see this. If I had a fire link, I can go ahead and get him, but I don't right now. <laughs> can Karma cut his ass though? Alright, so summon tour guide and the monster that you summon with tour guide, I'm gonna come and cut it. I'm not gonna come and cut the Dante, I'm gonna come and cut the monster you summon tour guide that we you're a tour guide that's on the field doing nothing and you don't get to go into a Dante. But god, you know. I'm gonna have three good so so the, the you know the argument about, you know, getting good and evil in the burning abyss to the graveyard and that being, you know, one of the major problems with the deck. Uh I wanna respond to the summon of tour guide, please. I'm holding A. I would like to respond to the summon. Game! Come on! <laughs> I would like to respond to the summon of Dante then. Like, shit. Like, come on. Come on. They're like, oh, oh you game's not working. Like, come on. I wanted to get that fucking graph, but no, game. No, you don't want me to get the fucking graph. Fine. Fine, you fucking butts. <laughs> oh, he gets graph effect. And it's all fucking... This game's fault. I was holding the A button and it didn't let me respond to the Summon of Graph. I don't know why. Like, come on. Come the fuck on. Like, hello? Damn, got another tour guide, but I'm not getting any Burning Abyss monsters to go ahead and fucking uh, pitch. Like, come on. Yeah, I'll go ahead and summon tour guide. You only got one monster, so I don't have to worry about getting fire laked. Alright. Oh, I can't take out that... What? No, I can't. I can rank up into a Pleiades. I'm not getting anything right now. I get up in the Pleiades would be terrible. Kill my Skarman. I would get it to her guy during the end phase, so... And it is a Pleiades. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. Deck is not cooperating with me today. 
I still play the one rank of magic astral force. I'm running out of resources because he's getting all his backup. He's got he warning me. Like, god damn. I'm getting fucked up right now. Like all I need to do is get a fucking burning abyss monster into my hand, which is exactly what I'm getting right now. So uh give me you. And he's gonna get his, sir. Like, this is a difficult deal just because he's he's getting a lot more of his backer than I'm getting of mine. What's that burning abyss? Alright, let's use one of these. I can discard you. And I can add anybody who I, whoever I want, like, nice and powerful. And what do you do when you're sitting there? I can target one burning this monster in my graveyard and special summon that target. Oh. Uh. Oh, sure, go ahead and give me five up. Yes. Uh. I mean, it really doesn't matter who you revive for me. No, it doesn't matter. So I've got like this, this, this right here. Like burning abyss matchup, mirror match is just like this. Except the problem is I don't got any back row. <laughs> yeah, you know? like that. That is the big problem here. There's no point in going into Virgil. I'd say that's the biggest problem right now. Is that I literally have no back row. <laughs> like, is that how the Burning Abyss matchup mirror matches? Because I've never dueled against Burning Abyss with Burning Abyss. So is that how it is? Whoever gets the most back row wins? Because that's an interesting concept if that's true. But me and him are really going head to head with it. You know, definitely showing that this is still the top deck. Like, the deck just made this plays even better. You know, even better. Even fucking better. Very fucking ridiculous that this deck sometimes I'm just like, I, my draw drops in just amazement about how good this fucking deck is. Damn, I got all three of my Fire Lakes in the graveyard. Yeah, I do. Wow. <laughs> yep. Yeah, use his good and evil and burning bits. Pitch his good and evil and burning bits. Go ahead and search him for his Fire Lake. Then he'll go ahead and summon him back, and then bam, he has the Fire Lake combo right fucking there. Like, hello? I don't know he's gonna get a uh, rubric. Alright. I said he's definitely up on resources, so he's probably got this duel. Summon him back, normal summon the rubric, or special summon the rubric, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, special summon the rubric, because you don't got any back row. Oh no, he's gonna normal summon it. Alright, go ahead and stick our summon right into Virgil to spin back my, uh, my Dante back to the extra deck. So I don't get that effect. And he's gonna go ahead and summon. Raph, go ahead and summon a burning abyss monster from your deck. What are you summoning? I wonder if he runs far fun stuff. Oh, there, there's Rafa right there. XC these two into Dante. Yeah, there's Dante. Alright. Oh, he's actually running the Traveler. I don't remember Traveler. It's not necessary. This deck is fast enough without it. I'll take that. Probably was even good in the mirror match. Mm-hmm. So he's definitely out-resourced me. You know? 
The only one deck that can out resource the Burning Abyss deck, and that's Burning Abyss, because, ooh. I'm totally out resource right now. What? I wouldn't rank up magic, Astral. You know what? Yeah, I do. I do, actually, because I have Tour Guide. Oh, am I really out of Burning Abyss monsters? Oh god. No, I can't be. Okay. Oh, I can only special summon. You can special summon seven turn for Oh yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, you got it. I was like, why can't I summon like I forgot about that second effect? Yeah, you got it. Alright, this video is over anyway. So Clearly, the only deck that could beat Burning Abyss is Burning Abyss, and he got more back row than me. That's, that's really what happened. I didn't get much back row. So maybe this deck needs more back row, because I got monsters, I got Descending, I just, maybe I need more back row. Maybe I need, this deck needs more hate, but as you can clearly see, you know, running uh, Good and Evil in the Burning Abyss with no uh, um, Malakota, no problem. <laughs> no problem, this deck is fine, you know? You know, with Cagna Descend, with uh, the, 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 uh, the trap cards to go ahead and pitch it if it's in my hand, like I did, and go ahead and go into rubric and pitching it as well, like, no problem. No problem. Like, you don't need fucking Malakota. Don't fuck him. Fuck him. You don't need him. <laughs> you don't need him. You know? What you need, then apparently what you need is more back row. You know? So I guess you don't really need this card anymore. I only ran it because I thought it was still good, but it probably don't even need it anymore. Maybe I can, I could probably tooth the deck, probably squeeze in one more. You know, maybe next week we can go ahead and try, uh, putting, um, uh, Nash change second and running um, uh, uh, Dark Wall. If I Nash change second with Dark Wall, I would have won this duel easy because, God, you know. So maybe we'll go ahead and try that next week. But, God, this deck so powerful. So I hope that you guys enjoyed Burning Abyss and the new Burning Abyss support. You saw it from both ends. So you saw me kicking butt with it and you saw me get my butt kicked by it because he did some awesome plays too. So, you know, I'm totally not salty that I lost this. Uh, you know, I'm just impressed by how powerful this deck is. Like, Konami, you're not you're not playing around. You're not playing around. Very powerful. Just kind of sucks that I never drew, you know, a lot of Burning Abyss monsters. I'll go ahead and use the good and evil and Burning Abyss, but I run a ton of Burning Abyss monsters, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'll probably take out Red Cup Magic Ash Force. It's not really necessary anymore. Going into Pleiades really doesn't have any much synergy deck. I even took out Burning. I mean, I even took out BLS just to test things. So if I want to take out BLS, then I'm gonna have to take this out too. So test things like that, and maybe um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll just run two. I'm trying to debate on how many rank ups to run, but rank ups can just win you a duel depending on what deck it is. So maybe it might be best just to run the kind of consistency because you know him plus back row is just a dick move. So you know what? Maybe we'll try out three. I don't know. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Builds with Burning Abyss and your new support. They're still still the best deck. Like you know, like I said, the only deck that can really beat Burning Abyss is another Burning Abyss deck. But, you know, Cleese are close second. I definitely say Cleese are still up there as well because they float really well too. But, uh, you know, should always you kind of fell down a tier to tellers. You're not really there. You're still, I mean, you're... you're I, I, you know what? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you because you have Kinsella and I Diamond. I'll give it to you. You, But the problem is, is that they run so much back. So much rack, yo. Like, like, you know, how you could be a dick to them and do diamond? They can be a dick to you and go into a fucking dark wall. So, you know, you're both dicks, you know? So, yeah. And, um, and, uh, you know, Necros and Fclaus, they, they aren't out yet. And fully out yet. They're not out yet. They don't come out till February, and I'm not even sure how they're gonna do. I know they're gonna run freaking Dekaseka, though, because there's so much back row burning this. It's not even funny, like, not only does the deck beat you by wanting up you with resources to their floating monsters, but they also want up to you through back row. And that's what makes the deck it's it's like it's like the two it's like the two coming together, you know? It's like it's like it's like Dino Rabbit, but floatier, you know, because they one up you with the back row and then they one up you with the freaking just monster and it's just I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. So I will be back tomorrow, being of course Friday, using Shadals. And I will also be talking about my Thursday, because, you know, I have, cl I have classes on Tuesday and Thursday, so I guess on Wednesdays and Fridays, I'll be talking about my day, about how my college, about my day at college was. Alright guys, thanks for watching.